cooling. Okay, what we have here is a normal uh, mattress. Feel it, it's nice and soft and malleable. Well, you'd expect it to be, it's a mattress. Now let's see what happens if we fill it up with a can of compressed CO2. Thank you. Yep. Safety stuff. Okay. Gloves. Thank you. Uh, so I'll just lay this out on the table, yeah? And yeah. then we just blow it up. That's right. Okay. Let me guess. I'm doing the filling. Yes, you are. Yeah, I thought of that. Here we go. Right. So this is just a cylinder of compressed gas. It's just a giant version of the... It's a big, can uh, of deodorant. Okay, I'll kind of test it. You're right. So that's just gas coming out. It's just expanding. Expanding gas. Okay. That's the nozzle in a hole. Well, it's inflating. I can see that already, but it would. The gas is expanding out of the cylinder into there and occupying more space. Thus far, Chris, all you're proving is this is a great alternative to a foot pump. Well, it's certainly easier. Is it my imagination, or can I see frost forming on the top? Yeah, the gas is cold because it's expanding. Uh, it's doing work on this, uh, on the, in, by inflating the mattress, and therefore it's getting cold. When frost happens when things get cold. Oh! I've burst it! But I haven't overfilled it or anything. It's... it's frozen! It's completely frozen. This was... <laughs> it's frozen. So that's the effect of expanding gas. Expanding gas was cold and made the, um, the rubber plastic become very brittle and it broke. So we froze it. So expanding gas then is the secret of refrigeration. And my mattress is ruined. Gori doesn't cure yellow fever. That comes later when people realize the role mosquitoes play. But he does pioneer refrigeration, which revolutionizes our lives. And now plays a vital part in the front line of astronomy. To stop the Keck telescope from swelling and shrinking, the observatory's domes use refrigeration. Keeping the telescope at a constant temperature is a big ask. Each dome contains more than 700,000 cubic feet of air. It's replaced every five minutes. Giant refrigeration units run throughout the day, keeping the dome at nighttime temperatures. And it's all thanks to the cooling effect of expanding gas. So inside these blue boxes, it's exactly the same as the back of your refrigerator at home, except a lot bigger and not full of fluff, and old pencils. But the theory is exactly the same. Gas is expanding, heat is being exchanged, keeping it cool in here. It really is a creature of the night, and there's no chance of that thawing out in here. Keck is transforming our vision of the cosmos and how it began. It sees almost to the edge of the universe, including this still unnamed galaxy 13 billion light years away. Humans have been fascinated with the stars for, well, pretty much as long as there have been humans. The brightest ones were given names by the ancient Greeks and Arabs, and we still use some of those same names today. Now we can see a lot further than they could, but we're still wrestling with the same questions they were. How and when did the universe form? When will it end? Are we alone? Keck is giving us glimpses of the answers. Keck is a genuine marvel of modern engineering. Deep in its DNA are some startling connections. A legendary ancient Greek death ray provides the secret of curving a mirror 
to focus light. The weird sounding theremin enables astronomers to create a bigger mirror than ever before. A sandblaster shows how to make a surface smooth. A camera that guided bombers allows Keck to find hidden galaxies. And a refrigerator is the key to keeping the telescope in shape. It's simple, really, if you have the right connections.